what is going on everyone welcome back to another video here on the channel and we're just going to jump right into it today so if you could like the video subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh hey how's it going my name is rap boy let's get into it tired since i have new people on my page i had somebody ask me the other day where's your husband it looks like you're doing everything and she asked if he was deployed and i was like no no he's not deployed his job is just crazy right now he went to work at 5 15 same time i left we both woke up at 4 30 left at 5 15 he had to drive an hour away to his work he gets there starts work at 6 30 he doesn't get off until 19 30 which is 7 30 p.m and then it takes an hour and a half to get home because traffic's way worse at night i'm gonna go ahead and make a comment right here anybody that knows anyone or maybe you've got the being in the service but you, you don't really have a choice with any of this you don't have a choice and she looks rather young she also looks like she's in the in, in the service i guess or whatever but you don't have a choice when you do this they tell you what to do and you have to do it so i am not sure why this video exists i don't know why she is on tiktok no no i knew what she was doing when she signed the the paperwork for all this so i'm really not sure why this video exists and he's working of course he's working what you know he, he doesn't have a choice this comment section we're gonna finish the clip in a second but this comment section was i don't think they understood that he, he doesn't have a choice he has to do it so anyway let's continue so by the time he's home we're all giving him dinner and then going to bed and literally this weekend he's starting the night shift and he is convinced that he'll have more time with his family he's gonna be leaving to go to work at 4 p.m and he's gonna be coming back at 8 a.m i take my kids to daycare at 5 a.m and i don't get off until 5 p.m i'm never gonna see him he's never gonna see us that's why I say I'm a single mom, but I'm married. My therapist came up with that one, but it feels so... I am so tired. He will be able to see you, though. He'll have more time for you working the uh, evening shift, the late night shift. See, because you will get more days off. This is what she doesn't understand. She will get more days off than he will. So he will be able to spend time. He will lose sleep, obviously doing this but that's not what she's understanding he will actually be able to spend more time with with her and the kids because he will be able to spend time with her on her days off does she not understand that or unless they have the same days off but from what i'm understanding if he works the weekends that means that he might have a day off in the week so and there was a if you looked on the screen it says he, he doesn't work every day so he'll be able to spend more time i don't see what the issue is they both kind of signed up for this. Uh, they knew what they were doing. They, they signed up for this. I don't understand why she's online putting all of her info. This is like very, uh, this isn't good. I don't like this. This is not good. This video is not good for me. Why? This video is not good for anyone. There's no reason why this video should exist. This is just normal, normal life in the service stuff. This is just normal. This is normal stuff. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why this video had to be made anyway i got one more it is easier being a single mom than a married single mom despite the financial insecurity sometimes right. housing insecurity right. having to restart removing right. the second adult from the home and just carrying a hundred percent of the weight somehow turns out to be less stressful and causes less resentment than when you are sharing the house with someone who refuses to contribute I know we're gonna have triggered men jumping in the comments talking about how they work a full-time job they're the breadwinner they provide the health insurance so well you know, i will say this a lot of married couples with kids do you know, both have to work two jobs two jobs they have to work two jobs now a lot of the time the uh you might have the woman you know, might be working like an office type job or something that is possibly working but most married couples nowadays both have to work they you have to work However, statistically speaking, men do work longer hours. They do work longer weeks. I've worked jobs where I was working six days a week, 12 hour days, and that was just a normal work week. So the only days off I got was when it rained. 
saying that was just one of uh, one of the many jobs I've had. So I don't know if if you know, women don't want to do these types of jobs, which I don't blame them. I guess you know, a lot of those jobs aren't really good to do. But a majority of a lot of women do have like office type jobs or they work as a receptionist or they do some sort of bookkeeping where the hours are always like banking hours. It's going to be like nine to five during the week, banking hours. So it's like always weekends off, always nights off. Their schedule is always going to be the same because of the types of jobs they take. So not necessarily they get more time, but their time is consistent usually. And so, yes, they will do all of the after school activities with the kids, all of the weekend stuff with the kids, because usually men work more statistically, uh, statistically speaking, men work more. So they're not going to be around on the weekends and after schools and stuff. And that's just that's kind of just the way it is. Let's continue. How dare we say they don't contribute? But the contribution to a home is so much more than a paycheck. And you know what? Honestly, I just want to say one more thing. Let's say that these men were to possibly change careers and you take a lower paying job so that they could spend more time at home. That would, wouldn't that also cause an issue with some of these women? They're like, oh, well, you're not getting paid as much. We're not as comfortable, but you're here more. <laughs> no matter what you do, you can't win, which is why men will almost always choose to work more than to be in a household with this, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Than be in a household with you know, something like this. I uh, this is a nightmare for a lot, a lot of men. This is a nightmare. In most homes, both parents were working anyway, so both That's parents just are said. managing their 40-hour work week, and then typically the mom is carrying a hundred percent of the labor distribution with you're assuming they're both working 40 hours yeah i don't statistically speaking that that's not the case and are working more so it's i don't know it's kind of hard to help around the, around the house, which is fine absolutely help around the house which i completely agree 100 percent. but i just really don't see that happening in order for which unless the guy if he doesn't want to get promoted or if he doesn't want to be kept in mind for possibly advancing and wherever he's working then you can definitely just do the basic hours that would be fine i know a lot of guys that will actually put in the extra hours to, to make sure that they're making progress in their in their career but and this is the thought process it really doesn't matter what you do these individuals will complain and nothing's good enough <laughs> every choice you make is the wrong choice so just concentrate on uh bettering yourself and uh concentrate on building your wealth building your assets that's really all you can do because anything other than that and you're gonna be left with this uh this well, what, this <laughs> this thing within the home I don't know why we call it distribution of labor when it's not distributed at all. The mental labor of being the CEO of your home, the boss of your entire family is absolutely draining and it's stressful. Somehow when the other person's removed from the equation and all of it rests on your shoulders. This is the longest, this is a 90 second video. This is the longest cope Ooh. you will ever see because how many times have you seen these types of videos, which you'll see these types of videos every day. And then we've seen videos that I've, we've seen videos that I've had on my channel in the past and it's the exact opposite. They're wondering why their children act the way they do. They're wondering why no man wants to entertain them. No man wants to be around them. And, and it's the exact opposite of these types of videos we see. So maybe look, and I could be wrong. I could be a hundred percent wrong, but it's not me saying it. It's these individuals right here. Let's continue. It's easier. And I have literally heard from thousands of women in the comments that are saying the exact same thing. They may now be managing two or three jobs just to provide the same lifestyle for their kids. And they might be back in school full time, but they still say it's easier by you know what? I 100% support these women. I've said this in the in, in the past. I've said this in so many of my videos. I 100% support these women. I want them to do whatever they feel like they need to do. However, the only issue I have is first they go on this platform to virtue signal their their position to get the validation for their for their victimhood, and then secondly they come back on that same platform returning as a victim because now they're lonely because now they can't find anyone that'll put up with their trauma Ooh. and everything they've been through and they deserve the world. They deserve everything. Entitlement doesn't end. Even if they get everything they want, they will divorce and be a 
single mom. And still, to this day, you'll see videos pop up complaining about that same situation. And how did they end up here? How did I end up here at age post wall? It never ends. But let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment if you have something to say. Like the video. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will catch you guys later. Rat Boy out. Thank you.